Hello, my name is Nairi and I'm running an adoption support channel and it's always really nice when people who are watching your videos then request another one. And so recently I put onto my channel um, a video all about keeping close to your child and it was part of research that I did. And it was looking at the under twos and how to um, stimulate the under twos and help them with language development. So somebody asked me if I would then address how to develop these types of things with more preschool age children. So so sort of two, maybe to five, two to five years or older. It could be for older. And so I've come up with some ideas for you, for you to think about. Um, when it comes to attachment and keeping close, it's very much about proximity and physical closeness. So the ideas that I've chosen are going to help you to be able to do that. So the first idea I have for you are things like when you do um, shops of any type, so you have to be close to them. So things like hairdressers, restaurants, takeaways, things where you set up a shop, exchange money, play with toys in close proximity together. And when it comes to hairdressers, children just love the feel of actually playing with your hair and you doing the same for them. So that's a role play situation. So you're trying to find role play situations that really help your children to be close to you. Another idea that you can use is joint cooking activities. Children love cooking anyway. And to be able to do joint cooking, they've got to be near to you. They've got to be in the same room. And often there's gonna to be touch involved as you weigh and measure and you, you make something together. That's my second idea. My third idea is bath time. You have to be a bit careful around bath time if you know your child has a history around uh, sexual abuse in particular, but you can use the whole bath experience to be very therapeutic for both of you. So within the bath, you would always have um, the option for bubbles or lots of pouring containers and Sometimes uh, children will let you um, sort of tickle their toes or sort of put bubbles on their hands or on their head. So just make it a real fun time when you're really close and you extend that bath time more than what you would normally and children will come to really look forward to that time. Um, another idea I have is to use bedtime as another therapeutic time for keeping close. So some children don't necessarily want to have a story, but that's one option where you could have a really fun story, which is quite interactive together. But also um, I've used with my foster children before, I've used hand massage with with lotions and creams and sometimes foot massage as well. And sometimes they don't want that done to them, but they might be happy to do it to you. And it's again, extending that time. And with some foster children, we've actually extended times to at least an hour to two hours with bedtime and bath time. And that's not necessarily gonna have, be able to happen for you. But what we found is particularly with one little girl, it was her time to really kind of have that bonding time. Then there's something a lot more straightforward. What about just watching a film together and you make sure that you sit with the child next to them. I know I can speak for myself sometimes. I don't want to watch the films that the boys want to watch. So we've got boys who are 11 and 12 and some of what they want to watch are just, they find it really, really funny. And they want me to be with them to watch the film and it's so painful sometimes. But if you can sit and watch some films with them and maybe you could extend that by including having special food and special snacks around that time, it just makes them feel really close to you. We found that with one of our boys, they are quite happy to be cuddled and are quite physical. And the other, the other boy isn't, he doesn't really like that closeness. So it is another opportunity to sit and be close to them. Just generally speaking, and this is my sixth point, is whenever your child is playing, even when they're playing on their own, to keep them close, what you do is make sure that you check in on them a lot. I've mentioned this in other videos before. So even if your child is happily playing with, say, Lego in a different room, uh, from where you are, you go and check in and say, how are you doing? What are you making? And you actually make uh, your strides to keep close. Another thing that you can do is if your child really doesn't like being on their own, which ours, which ours don't, is you can um, make sure that when you're doing something, you provide an activity for them in the same room as you. And then um, they can keep looking at you and you can keep looking at them. And that's an opportunity for eye contact, 
to, to speak to them as well. So sometimes it's not about actually doing something, it's about actually being in the same room as them. And in my previous video, which I, I'll link for you, is um, it was all about that eye contact, that voice and that physical proximity. So what you're aiming for if in your child who's a little bit older than two, or as two and above I should say, is you're aiming for close proximity and anything that brings you into close proximity will then uh, strengthen attachment and will make things a lot easier later because attachment's always something that needs building with adopted children. Well, I hope you found that helpful. Thank you whoever it was who suggested this idea for me and I hope that those six points are gonna be useful to you. Stick around, check out my channel, you'll find there's lots and lots on attachment and bonding, therapeutic parenting, adoption and parenting, tips and advice, it's all on there. So I hope you find my channel useful. Thank you.